Smoke and mirrors. Stallions. Who will break the bones, burn the bodies and direct us beyond the grave to the nearest public house? Who will watch the skies digging twinkling diamonds pulled out like a rotten tooth? The gaping maw of the cosmos filled with the garbage and detritus of yesterday's triumphs, today's indiscretions and the crippling defeat we face tomorrow. My name, my real name is lost on me. I come from a long line of teachers, accountants, chefs, nurses, boat builders. The real meaning of being is screaming in our ears every time we shake hands or tell our women that we love them. We bode well for the future. The liquidity of time's evanescence stoppered in bottles and shattered in storehouses as we sing and we dance and fall over. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. Who? My generation is open to life, love, laughter, yet to be broken down by the burdens of adulthood. We have the exuberance of youth, the energy that fades over time. We are in our prime days, numbered not too late to rock the boat. My generation is the generation which loves meetings, served champagne and strawberries at lunchtime. Brave soldiers passed over for promotion for challenging the status quo. People try to put us down just because we get around. 18 months, the average tenure at your first place of employment, job hopping every couple of years to keep things fresh. This is alcoholic bribery and damn it, it works. Pour me another one, Richard, it's Friday and my lover's arms are calling. Chester. The walls fall apart, grass grows green, sprouting and shooting in the boardroom. Slip not on Spotify and this theory is 14 and still a Ghosts gather back towards the boiler, part of this place like the walls and doors and floors, elevated, cracked and on the rise. Poisonous dust clouds choking, deoxygenized, lead and tar and soot and sweat, cooling the dying fireball, exploding onto the scene since 1989, when my three favourite authors lived under the same sun as me. Baby steps, crying in the corner, and he's chained like a dog to the railings, and his right hand's raised in Tiananmen's second coming. Destruction is deplorable, but sometimes you have to knock down a house if you want want to build a home. Parcel tongue. Amy slept with the geckos, eyes closed, mouths open, amyl nitrate in vitro fertilization and the aeroplane salute long lines of phosphorescence tearing the sky a new one. Lizards dressed as people, kings and queens and presidents, long tongues gilt with sweat beads, salient eyes that crisscross and the stench of death is overwhelming. Passers by, pass by passengers, lighters up, heads down and off forgetful. The sharp taste of vinegar packed in plastic and unescapable nutritional values buried in the belly of the beast. East, leery and uninhabitable, lungs ruptured, heartbeat slowing, skin crawling, expanding cataracts, godforsaken mess in the fields of Jorah's twisted imaginations, finally on trial with the lizard men. Prezi. We are presentable, the sensible, reprehensible electorate, the wrenching stench of benchmarks, politicians' playthings, dark marks on scattergraphs, battered and inanimate, ticking batches of boxes in Birmingham. We have lost our foxes, butchered badgers, bred British bulldogs, born badly bruised umbilically empirical like long-lost women conquering countries, expanding empires. We are FMCG, BBC TV in the city, southeast eating meat, wandering the streets with blisters on our feet. PR is easy. Give Give me a call when you're ready to be famous. VR. Get this into your head, there are infinite universities in our infinite universe and there are millions of me and millions of you and somewhere, somewhere we fell deeply in love with each other and you would hold my hand and fall asleep beside me, but that is not in this reality and I don't have the heart to tell you what could have been. You just wouldn't understand and you would take my hand and throw it right back at me and I'd retreat into my world reading fiction and fantasy and find a place to call home if only for half an hour before bed or in the bath or on the bus. Get this into your head, even our harsh reality is better than the alternative. If you exist only in your mind then you don't exist at all and I have fallen in love again with a figment of my imagination. She is so beautiful the gods marvel at their own ingenuity and I would go to war for her. Illuminatus Enchanted creature, long mane bristling, burned desire. Partisan emotions floating downstream as the frost kicks in. Messages in bottles crying for help, saddened and shakeable and lighting the darkness we all must face eventually. The patterns of snowflakes, indistinguishable from children's art, painted from the heart and the colours are more than colours. 
One man's hell is another man's hell, neither hot nor cold, but infinite grey in the devastating worlds you remember from hangovers. The brutal fear that stilled your heart when the Twin Towers tumbled down and the world stopped to think and in its infinite wisdom declared a war on terror. I am terrified of the death and the dark and the failings of terror itself. Don't let the fear win or it'll ruin you in the end. Preserve your flesh and bones bottled in formaldehyde and your mind will follow you into the ether. The Illusion of Time Choice is a wonderful thing and a chance is a fine thing too. What clothes to wear and how to part your hair and your ultimate goal is wrapped up in gold and buried at the bottom of a rainbow. Prepubescent boys and girls, the descendants of long lines of men with silver hair and sparse beards who drank liquor and played bridge at the gentlemen's club and slept with women half their age, addicted to leather upholstery and sparkling wine served in goblets. They are beyond our control. They measure out the hourglass sand, weigh it on a small pair of digital scales, pack it into plastic baggies and sell it on street corners. Immortality you can store, smoke or inject. Our most precious commodity will not be moved again. We have the information stored securely on stolen servers in the age of immortality you can snort, smoke or inject. Immortality, your prices are too high and your sand is cut with baking powder. Dry off your eyes and ride the next plane home. Naviglio Grande all hail Milano, city of surprises where beauty spots blend with building sites and sightseers score motorists careering wildly across tram lines. Bad buses built for bored drivers and a change is as good as a rest, my friend. Milano, where the tea is milkless and the tourists are taxed, the money pocketed by corrupt carabinieri, where the city grinds to a halt on sunny Sunday days after 24 hours of rain, where the dogs are nicer than people, church steeples keep appearing, dank with the rancor of homelessness and Beggars begging, pickpockets picking pockets, gentle old Italian women escorting their bambinos south of the city centre. Milano, you've been good to me like Coventry, you have the Dutch debauchery in Birmingham's buildings. Milano, the division between old and new, the eternal war between science and art represented in the Santa Maria del Grazie and the Museo di Storia Naturale. Pistols Skin-tight lines packed in jazz cafes, sweating topless and dreadlocked, ganja smoke rifling to the stars and back, a trumpet announcing the arrival brought down in harmony, lighters in the air skank skanking and the bass is downright sickening, and I quake unreserved, ready to rage and rave, coordinated, dispelled by the boom of the drums and the deep emotive voice of whichever black guy is leading the pack tonight. Jazz? This ain't jazz, it's the primal sound that haunts your dreams and nightmares, true dub tucked under chloroform jungle. Christmas poem for a saviour that doesn't exist. Consumers of the world, you have been duped, and your hard-earned dole money could be faster wasted if you placed it in the hands of a one-armed bandit. Santa's claws gouging holes in your wallets and purses, and your decorations are redundant. Your trees resemble your... Your tinsel does not add light to the darkness. Consumers of the world, the world has been consumed, and you got to write your poem standing in line at the post office, shuffling halfway across the world. Listen buddy, I'll celebrate your pretend holy days when you celebrate the rising of the sun. Scientific and sublime and a relief to make it through the night again. And the drugs keep you alive because you can't spend money when you're dead. And if you really believe what you say you believe, then why does death frighten you? And why try to avoid the inevitable? If anal sex is unnatural, then medicine's unnatural too. Quit flying the double standard and stop using your false syllogisms to trick young minds into entrapment. To poison their unright minds ahead of the great upheaval when all of religion's bloodthirsty tracts will be celebrated not as fact but as fiction. Then and only then will I kiss you beneath the mistletoe. Come with me and take my hand, let's pretend that we're dead and that life's incessant demands are just a series of lights flashing through our heads and never manifest. The gifts we give to pregnant women who selfishly bring life into this world that's too f***ed to raise a child in. Where kids get shot at for trying to get an education and let's face it, we're dead the second we stop learning. All these words running through my head and I am the bread baked from the dead. Twice the rhyme in half the time. Dead beats beating death, deaf streets meeting breast, breath held melting wings. Sing the limericks with five live pilots pushing sunlight straight towards your door, four floors tall and all apologetic. Frenetic lettuce broiling winds, tumbling bins and scarlet sins, instincts whimpering fingers flinging stinging rain.